Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Scotty, from Brick Me Up Scotty, and glad you liked the last video, so I hope I can get the ball rolling, give you guys one or two videos a week. Today, we are looking at something that's quite different. Uh, it's not Lepin, it's not Lego, it's not Zingbo. It's another brand that I found called Oxford Block, and they are made in Korea. And here we have the game Room. So I'm a huge gamer, I love video games, and I grew up with them. So seeing this set was kind of like, I had to get it. No one else makes it, so why not? Uh, it's kind of pricey. I got it from Amazon and you can find it. It's called The Game Room, Oxford Block. And it says, Reply, 1990s. Now I feel real old. I think it meant replay. I'm not sure why they put reply. And it says, Brick for Mania. It should be a brick for maniac, like me. Anyway, it's... Here, this is it, it's a thousand, it's 1,460 pieces, so it's not really that big, it won't take you long to build. The feeling I got building it was, was pretty amazing, it's pretty cool to see like all these feelings come back, but we'll, I'll show you why right now. Just move this little scooter out of the way, and we'll start around the back of the building, because just so you guys know, you're going to be excited and bummed at the same time that it is ready for your modular city. So the, the tiles are here, it's ready to go, but there's one flaw, one major flaw. The game sign, I told you guys I love when they have bricks that make out words. When it's tilted how it's supposed to be in the book, no modular building will fit according. It'll pop right off because what'll happen is it'll push here like this. It'll just go, it'll push the, the game right off. I've tried every, even the bank. I think the bank was the lowest one. It doesn't really quite fit onto there. So, ah, little issue. That damn thing. All right, so in the front, we have two games that are set up here. So this is cool. You got the little hammer game. You got 126 points of stickers on there. One thing before I forget to mention is that the set actually comes with duplicates for stickers. Hallelujah. I hate putting stickers on. I keep messing up. So thank you for putting double the amount so you will, you'll have spares. So that's really good. And then over here, we have another game machine. You know, you have to handle pretty pretty good like I like how they did that it's got some depth in there they put a, a window and two or three little small pieces inside so it acts like the crane you can totally tell right away that it's a crane game and then let's come to the back alley you have the coca-cola machine and the sprite machine which is actually not really coke and sprite it's just cider and cola but you get the idea they're trying to do yeah, they got away with cola and it has a little smoke no smoking sign and I'm pretty sure that's still an ashtray, but you, you won't find that in a, a children's set. Got guardrails and the tree. I like the tree. I like the staircase. It's locked in place. Thank you for locking it. It's not like the other sets where they just give up on the bottom and don't, don't put it together. Now here's something really cool. This is the Dance Dance, supposedly the Dance Dance Revolution arcade. That means there's probably going to be a Dance Dance Revolution machine inside. But it says Dance Dance Mania, copyright issue. The whole thing is one big copyright thing, so they had to switch things out. But again, the sticker quality is actually pretty okay on this. Um, I've noticed that a lot of the third-party brand stickers are kind of see-through, so they don't look that great when they're put on, but this one's actually pretty okay. There is a missing window right here. Can you do, are they gonna kill me? Maybe later, I'll get another window. As far as the modular part goes, when you want to take it apart, you have to take off two pieces first. And that kind of gets a little bit irritating if you want to show friends or if you want to keep it as whole. You can't. There's two pieces you got to take off first. And that is this piece. You see that? And I think it's this one. There we go. So these two pieces have to move out first. And then I can show you guys in all its glory, the interior of the game room with the minifigures hopefully intact. Let me open this up. It's all opened up. It actually looks pretty cool just as it is. You can display it like this, or you can display it this way. So it looks like on the other side. Of course you want to see the inside, right? I'm sure you guys are all going, what's inside, what's inside? We gotta look at it, yeah. Second floor does come off. There we go. Put that there. Take this one off. Put that there. I'm gonna go around the table and show you guys what's inside. From the first floor, left to right, we have Drum Revolution Machine, which is basically Drum, drum Mania, right? Is that what, is that what uh, the original one is? 
correct me if I'm wrong, I kind of forgotten, I haven't played the game for so long. It was a lot of joy building this set. I'll take it off for you guys so you can see it closely. Oh, it kind of popped off. And I like how they like make the little pieces here, almost like the original game. Okay, in the middle here, I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is. It's, it should be pretty obvious, it's the water machine. And then we have the Dance Mania machine here. Let's pull this out. Okay, so this is the Dance Mania, there you go. Dance Dance Revolution. You can see the stickers inside, it says perfect on both. Not too, too far, there you go. Perfect and perfect. Little, I don't know what this is in here. It's a post box, but they put it in the machine. Maybe you're supposed to put the songs in there, or CDs or coins or whatever. Big boom box. I guess if you take the top off, this can be like a like a boom box. We got the few little bitty figs dancing. You know how they dance in the arcade. They put the cheated. People put their hands on their back and try to dance as fast as they could. That's cheating, man. Um, I would take this. I don't know if this will completely come off. I'll take half of it off. Uh, this is one thing that kind of bothered me. Okay, one thing I really hated was putting on these little individual stickers on a single tile. That's hard. It's a pain in the ass. All right, next door we have what looks like a break room. We have a microwave and a cup inside. I really, really would have loved to have moved this out and put another arcade block game inside. I think if I get enough spare pieces, I may actually just do it. Just take this out and put another classic game inside. I think this deserves more classic. But anyway, let's move on. Next to it is a little green coin machine. You put money in there and you can play Virtual Police. Let's move this minifig out of the way. He's got his gun ready. I dig it. It's just like the arcade cabinet. If I remember, let's pull this out. Let you guys see that in close-ups again. There we go. Virtual Police. The sticker inside is like one of the stages. Again, they duplicate all these stickers, so there's plenty of leftovers if you screw up putting one on. Then we move on to the second floor. We'll start, this is probably my favorite floor right here. So here, from left to right, we have this guy who's about to play the game, take him out. You have Wonder Boy. Who remembers that game? That was an awesome game. Street Fighter, you got Ken fighting Guile, and I'm pretty sure they're trying to emulate Guile's stage, but he's doing the butterfly kick, or that whatever kick. And on the right side, it's a little bit tricky. It's actually Bubble Bubble. I think it's Puzzle Bubble in the US, I can't remember. But it's Pac-Man on the inside, so it's kind of strange that they did that. But awesome, really nostalgic, really dig it. The last room here, what we have is Auto Run. The, it's actually a classic game, I can't remember the, the original name. I, I, it's in my head, I know this game. Dang, I gotta find out what the name of that was. Outrun. Ah, we got the name of it. Okay, so this is Auto Run here, but if you remember, the classic game is Outrun. I almost forgot the name because I'm staring at this thing, you know? And then finally you have this little karaoke room, which is in, all in Korean. It's a little bit hard to get the minifigure inside there, but um, I don't know if whoever can read that. If we can read what that says, that would be awesome. And there you go. So we're gonna put these back on. And then finally, on the rooftop, is this awesome design of a joystick as a logo which I dig. It's like a generator thing going on here. There's other things underneath here. Let's see if I can pull this off for you. That was easy. There's like a, looks like a car engine. The design of it at least. Pretty genius. I like that they actually took advantage of the rooftop. They could have been lazy and just be like, nah, let's just not put it. Let's put a little garden or something on there. I do like that. I like that little protection that they have on here. They did minimize on the roof, but they have something up there that, that, that there's a reason why it's up there. I like the generator part and it's protected so that you, you won't get shocked if you touch it. Just like the real thing. So there you go. This is a really small review, but this is an awesome little block. Let's put the minifigures up for you guys to see. You got a cool guy with glasses. This is a little, probably your mother telling her son to come home. This girl looks like she's ready to go on the Titanic. I don't know who this guy is. The dad. This guy's a shirt that says King Kong, and I think it had another face change. I don't have all the parts here, but you can change the helmet. So there you go. That's a, kind of the overview of this game room. If you're a huge gamer and you love Lego or blocks in general, I would highly recommend it. I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's available on Amazon. It's a little bit expensive. I think it's around the same price as almost the bank or the Parisian restaurant. It runs maybe about 150 US which is kind of a bit much, but I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I had to get it and put it together. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe, like, comment,
comment, all that good stuff, and I'll get more out for you guys. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. See you. Beam me out. Whoop. <laughs>